Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about change, uh, adjusting the fan belt tension on the P3, uh, six shooter P3 light. It is quite the adventure. Quite the adventure. Um, so, first thing you have to do is uh, there's a nut that goes on the front of the pulley. Um, right here, this nut. And it is fastened on that. Um, the only way I could get it off was with an impact wrench. So I got my pneumatic impact wrench and the little uh, tool they have to hold it in place. Which if you've never seen one, as I had never seen one, it looks like this. So do is there's holes on the front of the pulley you wedge this guy in here in this notch which I'm having trouble doing at the moment and then it goes into the holes on the pulley and then it keeps it still so the one method I was told is try wrap putting a wrench on it putting the holding tool on the pulley putting a wrench on the net and wrapping it with a hammer and he said if that doesn't work you may want to get an impact hammer impact wrench so I already had one and that's what it took to get it off so we've got the nut off and then we we're faced with trying to um, separate the pulley halves that was not easy either so just letting you know that uh, it takes a little bit of doing it took a big screwdriver uh, to get those pulley halves apart what one half of it looks like and there's the other half there's the belt that goes on it so as it says in the instructions the way it works is there's these little shims in here there were two in my case here's one shim there's the other one I'm going to remove one because the belt was just a little bit loose I'll put the one shim back in there and now I am going to put the pulley halves together and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll catch up with you in a few minutes. Okay, so I got the two pulley halves back together and I got the nut started on there. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do is get that. Oh, and there's also a little keyway on that central shaft. There's a key. That there, and a notch in the two pulleys, so make sure you, you look for that and carefully align those. Um, all that pulley is connected to is the fan inside there, and it free wheels. So I'm going to have to get the, uh, the tool to hold the pulley still so I can tighten that nut. So I'm going to try that now. Okay, well that was kind of a bear. Um, what I ended up having to do is... Put the two pulley halves on, like I said, put the belt in there, um, put it about where it should be on that pulley, and then tighten the nut a little bit, rotate it so that the belt doesn't get pinched between the two pulley halves. And I tighten the nut and rotate it, and I kept doing that probably about five or six times until uh, as I was tightening the nut, the, uh, the tool kept wanting to pop out of the... Uh, the holes, as you can see by the scratches. Ah, well, it's not new anymore, what can I say? Um, but yeah, removing that one shim tightened the belt up a good bit. So, see, there's not much. I'm trying to burn myself here on the uh, this thing. Not much play there now. It's nice and tight. Next thing I'm going to do, well the next belt I'll tighten is going to be this drive belt, but it still feels pretty good. So I think I'm going to leave it alone for now and go fly it a little more and just keep my eye on it. I'll make a follow up video when I adjust that belt. So to sum up, they are right to adjust that belt tension on that fan belt. You do need to just remove that nut, separate the pulley halves, 
remove a shim. But that's all easier said than done. You really need an impact wrench, you know, like the guys use at the tire shops. Um, you're really going to need that and the tool, the, the uh, tool that holds the pulley in place. You can need both of those to get that nut off. So if you ever have to do it, that's my uh, two cents. And uh, I didn't have to remove the engine, um, but it was very awkward. Um, the impact wrench will go in from the front. I just put an extension on it so it fits just fine. Um, it's just all these bars are just in exactly the wrong place for, for you to work on it. But it can be done with uh, careful attention and lots of bruised knuckles. So anyway, um, I just test ran it. Uh, everything looks good. So I'm going to put it all back together and uh, I'll go fly it tomorrow, the next day or the day after that. So anyway, thanks for watching.